Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and welcome back to Ask Alex, the show where you ask me your burning Nintendo questions, and I do my very best to answer them. If you want to ask me a question that may well be featured in a future video, just click the link in the description, it'll take you where you need to go. Now, kicking straight off with a big question, Carson has asked me, if there's more Mario Kart 8 DLC coming in the future, what would I like to see in it? A very good question, and one that I've actually been thinking about quite a lot, because I think Nintendo would be absolutely mad not to continue with this DLC because it's just been so well received. Everybody went mental over the first pack and the second pack people seem to be even more excited over and it is worth getting excited over. I couldn't say which one was better because I didn't really get that much of a chance to play the second one but it's seriously good. I actually brought this up very briefly with Nintendo's UK PR team and they basically said we have nothing to announce at this time so no clues there unfortunately. However, if Nintendo did decide to continue with this DLC business, then I reckon that Mario Kart 8 could have support for years to come, and that is a very exciting prospect. Mainly because Mario Kart 8 doesn't really need that much improving upon when it comes to the actual core gameplay. The gameplay is about as perfect as a game can get, in my opinion. Extremely tight controls, almost no glitches, there's almost nothing you can fault it on. I mean, there are a few bits here and there, but compared to most modern games, or even older games, it's pretty much immaculate. In every pack so far, we've got four new tracks, three new characters, four new vehicles, and some other bits and bobs here and there. And so I imagine if they're going to do more DLC, it will probably be along those lines. You get a big pack rather than downloading individual items like on the Smash Bros sort of costumes for the Mii characters. I think Nintendo aren't really going to venture too far into that territory. And as such, of course, there would be some retro tracks. And there are quite a few that I can think of, mainly N64 ones, that I would absolutely love to see remade in HD. Calamari Desert's one because that is just a corker of a track and I think it was remade in Double Dash but I'm not completely sure about that. Maybe it was the Wii version. Koopa Troopa Beach was also excellent but most of all it has to be Banshee Boardwalk because I think that has had a remake but seriously that deserves another one. It's so good and it actually used to really really scare me as a child. I don't know why. I think there's something to do with the booze because they didn't look like the booze in Mario 64 and that unnerved me. I just couldn't get along with it but I love it now. Frankly, the way that Nintendo have been handling these retro tracks, they could do anything and I think it would be fantastic. I've got a huge amount of faith in them, so they better get cracking. Quick fire questions now, and keeping within the same theme, Tony has asked me, do the F-Zero tracks in Mario Kart 8 basically spell Doom for an F-Zero game on the Wii U? This is something I've been pondering upon ever since Big Blue was confirmed for the second DLC pack, because as much as I absolutely adore F-Zero, seriously F-Zero X, if you've never played it, go and play it now, I don't see it happening on the Wii U. The audience just isn't there, unfortunately. Mario Kart's very family-friendly, F-Zero is very much skill-based, and unfortunately, there aren't that many people that would really go for that. I mean, there are people out there who love it, like me, but unfortunately, we're too few. It's just unlikely, so very unlikely. However, that doesn't necessarily spell doom for the future, but I think it's going to be quite a long time before we see one. Super Sniping Bros has asked me, do I ever buy the special edition versions of games such as the Mario Kart 8 Blue Shell Edition? In short, not really, no. I mean, unless it's something like Bayonetta where it comes with an additional game, then I don't really have an awful lot of interest in them. I mean, I like the paraphernalia, but they are so very pricey. Nintendos are slightly less pricey than some other companies, but you do get all of this stuff and it looks really cool to begin with, and then after a while you just sort of lose interest very, very rapidly, and then... It's just sort of taking up space, so I'd much rather just have the game, to be honest. Having said that, that special edition Yoshi's Woolly World with that Yoshi Amiibo plush? Ooh! And finally, Phil has asked me, do I think that the Wii U Zapper should be a thing, and is it potentially a virtual reality contender for Nintendo? For those that don't know what the Wii U Zapper is, it's basically this, and it was a concept put forward by Nintendo, but was never actually acted upon. It was only ever, as far as I know, revealed in the E3 reveal trailer for the Wii U. We've not seen anything about it since. It looks seriously good, and with some proper application, it could be absolutely outstanding. However, we haven't seen anything about it, so I don't know whether Nintendo are going to follow up with it. I mean, I'd love it if they did, but I mean, it's been so long now. I mean, could happen, but probably not. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you zap that subscribe button and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.